<laughs> okay, so... It's foggy again, though, because I stirred up the marble dust. Well, you stirred it up on the ground? Yeah, because I want, I, want I want the filter to grab the ground at all. And oh. It settles, you know. Gotcha. Well, if you guys have noticed, it's a little foggy, right? And uh, I got a light that we could probably bring over. Ugh. Help out a bit with you guys seeing it. There we go. Alright. So yeah, it's kind of foggy. Just a tad. Um, if you notice, there's some white stuff down there. I don't know if it's too dark or what. But basically... We bought this gravel, right? And, uh, there's like this thick, like, well, it's like a powdery, yeah, you can see it mix up right there. It came on the gravel, and we accidentally put it in without, uh, without washing it off. Well, it wasn't an accident. I put it in without washing it off, and went, eh, it'll be fine, until we did research on the fish, and... These particular fish, which I thought were just regular goldfish, are actually fancy goldfish. <laughs> and fancy goldfish can get infections if you have too much particular particulate matter in the water. And so, also I want to correct one other thing, is that regular goldfish, you could put 60 in there and they would just die eventually. Fancy goldfish can live for 50 years and they grow up to a foot. So we decided that 10 is probably enough since they'll be full grown in two years. Yep. And we plan on this going for two years. Uh, so these fancy goldfish need the water cleaner than it is, so we set up that filter up there. Yeah. To clear out the water. Yep. And get rid of the marble dust. So it's filtering the, uh, the water, and then hopefully that's getting a lot of the dust. And we're actually noticing it is. It's getting a whole bunch of the dust out. Um, and, and that's what we want. We want to kind of filter... Get clean, clean water, and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna wash off the all of this and get all of that out, and then put our system back together and then start growing stuff finally. So um, we're uh, learning from our mistakes. Hey, little Mr. Fishy, uh, let's see if I can focus on him. We're gonna feed him so that you'll see, be able to see him at the top and yeah. feeding on the bottom. Ah, oh, it's so foggy, it's hard to focus. <laughs> we'll go ahead and feed him, I guess. We'll uh, record it. Okay. It's pretty yeah, cool. Online, online it says that fancy goldfish you feed once a day because otherwise they produce too much waste and uh, you have to change the water out frequently. But in an aquaponic system, because the plants are using all that waste, we're going to feed them twice a day so that they will produce the weight, and, and it's also twice a day is not, if, you, if we fed them more than twice a day, it would probably overfeed them and they would die, because uh, fish are stupid and they'll just keep eating, but uh, twice a day we figure is a good balance between them producing enough waste for our plants, and uh, also not overfeeding the fish. Yeah. I got the soup spoon, that's what we're using to measure it out, and actually fancy goldfish are bottom feeders, but Golden Boy will feed at the top, and occasionally the other ones will come up to the top. Golden Boy's my favorite one. <laughs> and, uh, so, but since they're all kind of floating up at the top, I think that they're gonna, that they, they'll come up and eat up there. Or at least Golden Boy will. Or they might wait, they might wait for it to go down to the bottom. Okay. Oh, sorry. There they come. Oh, yep. <laughs> It's food! Hurry up, man! See, oh no, Golden Boy's actually feeding on the bottom. He just went in the tube. Yay! Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they're eating. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, it's so good. I can't stop eating. We're gonna start feeding them blood worms, too. Yeah. We're going to start growing worms in the back and feeding them blood worms once in a while because they're omnivores and they need high protein meat as well as this is high carbohydrate flakes that's made out of soy and some other grains. Uh, but we 
want to try. We want to, as much as we possibly can, get off of purchasing food and feeding our fish stuff that we can actually make ourselves. So we'll be doing a lot of, uh, well, we'll be growing earthworms inside the organ organic compost that we'll have going. Um, any sort of vegetables that we don't use, uh, we'll feed to the fish because they'll eat, they'll eat vegetables as well. Uh, and we've got some ideas for some bug traps to uh, catch bugs in lights and then feed them. And that's actually what they do in Australia is they use uh, the one guy who we've been watching his videos. He uses light traps for bugs and uh, catches them and just throws them in. Fish love it. Yep. And then that way we don't have to purchase stuff, which when you buy manufactured stuff, you really don't know what's going into the food always. Yeah. Like we got the the natural fish food as as yeah kind of yeah. but it's i mean i was rather i would rather feed the bugs and worms and vegetables to the fish than pellets or yeah. what was this flakes but although they do need a high carbohydrate diet as well yeah it doesn't look like they're eating too much off the top yeah they're well they're bottom feeders like so yeah and that makes sense until it comes down to the bottom and they get... he's like He's hiding. It's like a horror movie where the, the monster comes out of the out of the mist <laughs> slowly. Anyway, all right. Well, it's the end of our next video. Hopefully, everything. Oh, we're getting some we're getting some fish food in the filter. <laughs> well, at least we know it works. You know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But, uh, yep. So, see you.